I'm Andrew Benson. I'm Jean Wu. And I'm Brian Lee. And we're Team Spy Nine. And today we're going to help you with an organic chemistry problem. Okay, so here's the organic chemistry problem we're going to help you with today. Question. How many signals would you expect to see in the HNMR spectrum of the following compound? First, we need to define proton NMR spectroscopy. HNMR spectroscopy is the measurement of the nuclear spin of hydrogen atoms and the resonance of that spin with other hydrogen atoms. Each group of hydrogen atoms attached to a carbon produce a signal. However, equivalent hydrogen groups produce the same chemical shift on the NMR spectrum, causing one signal for all equivalent hydrogens. One example to explain this would be 3-bromopentane. Hydrogen on carbon-1 produce one signal, and those of carbon-2 produce a second signal. However, if the molecule is flipped, carbon-4 is identical to carbon-2. Because of this, only one signal is seen for hydrogens on carbon-2 and carbon-4. The same is true for carbons-1 and 5. To determine the number of signals, simply count all non-equivalent hydrogen groups. Now we can look at the compound in our question. The question asks us to find how many signals we would expect in an H1 NMR spectrum of this compound. Recall that the number of signals present in an H1 NMR spectrum corresponds with the number of non-equivalent hydrogen groups within the molecule. So to determine the number of signals we would expect to find for this compound, we simply identify how many non-equivalent hydrogen groups there would be within this compound. The easiest way to do this is by drawing out all the hydrogens within the molecule and counting out the individual groups from left to right. The three hydrogens on the carbon that is attached to the oxygen accounts for one hydrogen group. Next, there are four separate hydrogens attached to the aromatic. Lastly, the hydrogen attached to the oxygen is another hydrogen group. Now we must look for the possibility of equivalent hydrogen groups. To do this, we must look at the symmetry of the aromatic. If we look at the molecule from a different perspective by flipping it over, we see that hydrogens 3 and 7 are equivalent to each other, and hydrogens 4 and 6 are also equivalent to each other. This shows that the four hydrogens attached to the aromatic can be grouped into two non-equivalent hydrogen groups. So now that we have considered equivalencies in hydrogen groups, we can label our non-equivalent hydrogen groups as follows. Group A, B, C, and D. As we can see, there are four non-equivalent hydrogen groups present within this compound, so therefore, four signals will be seen in its HNMR spectrum. However, you should be aware of common distractors within the answers. Answers F and H are two examples. Answer F is a distractor because it would be the answer you would get if you counted each hydrogen group as one signal. However, this is incorrect because you did not account for equivalencies of the B and C group hydrogens. In answer H, each hydrogen is counted as an individual signal, rather than each non-equivalent group of hydrogens counted as a signal. This is also incorrect. HNMR is a useful tool in identifying the structures of molecules. This compound has the IUPAC name 4 methoxyphenyl. Its common name is mequinol. Mequinol is a drug used to treat liver spots or H spots. A drug company can use HNMR spectroscopy to determine whether mequinol has been correctly synthesized. 